Well, this must be pretty important. You not wanting to tell me anything over the phone. It is. Now, well, let's get to it. Uh, your wife's activities have been fairly simple to observe. She went to a man's apartment today, and she's back there again tonight. And knowing who he was, we backtracked and found they have been together at various times over the past two months, mostly in his apartment. You got a name for me? Yes, sir. Well, never in the world would I have thought of that man. Shall we continue our surveillance? Yes. I suppose it's time we do something about old Cliff Barnes. Yes? There's a J.R. Ewing here to see you. Give me a minute. Send him in. All right. I should have killed you out in that field when I had a chance. Well, I guess not even you are capable of cold-blooded murder. No, I wasn't then. Of course, that's where I found out about the cheap little romance you're having with my wife. That's the way you look at it, huh? It's the only way to look at it. You're a cheap little man, Barnes. With little man's dreams. Now, Sue Ellen, on the other hand, is a very expensive lady, too expensive for a cheap little man like you. Always comes down to that with you, right? Money? You gonna offer to buy me off? I'm not gonna have to buy you out. You're gonna call it off all by yourself. Sue Ellen's carrying my baby. She's gonna be my wife. The child's gonna be raised mine. Well, that child may very well be yours. On the other hand, it may be mine. Either way, it's going to be raised to Ewing. I think the best thing for you to do is just to back off. Because how do you think Jock Ewing would feel about your wife carrying my baby? Oh, it's going to be difficult. There's no question about that. But after a while, my dad and everybody else is going to blame the whole thing on that tramp I married. Especially if she ends up with you. Just another case of a Barnes picking up Ewing leftovers. You are the most now, you just hang on. Like I said, it's gonna be embarrassing for me for a while. But I got a lot of money and a lot of power, and I'll get over it. For you, it'll be suicide. Would it? Yeah. Well, you wanna know why I do so well? Because I know how to play the other man's game. I know what makes you tick, Barnes. I, I know what you need. You need power. You wanna be a senator or governor. Be appointed to some fancy office. Well, of course, you found out in the last election that anybody involved in scandal can't get elected dog catcher. You know, it's funny about people. They'll, they'll put up with all kinds of strange things from a man like me. But if the truth of you and Sue Ellen comes out in the divorce course, you'd be lucky if you don't get run out of town. You'd do that, wouldn't you? You'd make a scandal out of it. I don't see as I have any choice. I don't see you have a choice, either. So you better make up your mind pretty quick, because I have a feeling Sue Ellen's going to be calling on you. Soon. What am I supposed to tell her? Tell her the truth. Tell her there is something that means more to you than she does. 